Happy Halloween! Do you like our pumpkins? Can you guess what this pumpkin has on it? What has what? What's it got on it? Can you guess what this pumpkin is? Is it the moon? Maybe our story is about a witch. Do you think it's about a witch? Yeah. Imogen, do you think I look pretty? No. No! Do you think I look pretty? Yeah. Well, maybe the witchetty grub will come and visit me and make me beautiful. Today's story is yeah. called The Witchetty Grub and the yeah. Grubbity Witch. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready to read yeah. about the witch yeah. and the grub? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can you go? Ah! Yeah. Can you go? Ah! That was very good. We got Eyes. We've got scary eyes because we are witches. Shall we begin? Let's go. The Witchetty Grub and the Grubbity Witch by Daniel Williamson. Winding away from the bright city lights on a hill up high in the clouds. A spooky old castle glows in the night where a lonely witch hides from crowds. She reads the spells from her witchetty books as she pours from her witchetty potions, stirring her cauldron with a witchetty look going through her witchetty motions. They don't like me and I don't like them. She sings as the cauldron bubbles. This spell will make it snow again and bring them awful troubles. That's not a good choice, said a posh little voice from behind the big wooden door. Your spell won't last long, you're doing it wrong, said the tiny strange creature on the floor. Yuck! What are you? said the witch bending down. You look like the slime from my tub. Slimy? Not me. I'm clean as can be. A fidgety, witchety grub. A witchety grub? There's no such bug. And what makes you think you're so clean? You crawl around on the dirty rug where all the animals have been. But look at my face. No mud, muck or moss. Not one bit like yours. When was the last time you had a good wash and cleaned all your spots and sores? The witch grabs a mirror and shrieks at the shock. Ah! What happened? You're right! You're showing the signs of working too hard, making spells deep into the night. But my hands are so crooked, and my arms are all bent. I can't even wash my own face. Don't worry, said the grub. My hands are nimble. I'll help if I can stay at your place. It's a deal, said the witch. But watch out for the cat. If you're too slow, he'll catch you and eat you. Fair enough, said the grub. I won't forget that. Now pick me up so I can reach you. The witch tea grub crawled over her face with hot soap and water in a bucket. Each time he found a straggly hair, he'd pull it until he could pluck it. He rubbed and scrubbed right round the clock, rolling back the years. 
he covered up the witch's spots and scooped the wax from her ears. Oh dear, oh dear, said the witch tea grub. Your brows are too bushy and long. I'll simply have to trim them down. Good job I brought scissors along. Even the warts on the witch's face, he'd jump on until they were flat. But he bounced off the witch's crickety nose and knocked off her witchety hat. Oh dear, oh dear, said the witch tea grub. Your hair's all greasy and smells. We'll have to pop you in the tub and give it a wash as well. The witch lay back in her witch tea bath, her head all covered in suds. The grub picked out all the sticks and grass and washed away the mud. Oh dear, oh dear, said the witch tea grub. Your shoulders are lumpy and hard. I simply must give them a witchety rub. No wonder you're bent in the arms. He rubbed her shoulders with all of his hands and bounced on her witchety lumps. It took a while, you understand. Nearly 99 grubbity jumps. In front of the mirror, he dried her hair for more than just a while. The witch was so happy that someone cared. But just when she started to smile. Oh dear, oh dear, said the witch tea grub. Your teeth are all green and rotten. Twice a day they need a scrub, but clearly you've forgotten. The grub climbed into the witch's mouth with a toothpick and a long minty brush. He found bits of food and picked them out even bits of old bread and the crust. He scrubbed every tooth a hundred times and polished them up so shiny. It's a darn good job, I think you'll find, that witchetty grubs are so tiny. They walked across to the dressing room to find the witch some clothes. Oh dear, oh dear, it can't be true. You've got holes in all of those. The witch tea grub took a needle and thread while the witch relaxed by the fire. Don't worry, I'll sew them all up, he said, though I'm starting to feel quite tired. The witch tea grub then started to yawn, which made the witch yawn too her eyelids falling to the floor. I do hope it's bedtime soon. All done, said the grub. Now look in the mirror and tell me what do you see? I see the colour in my cheeks again. I feel like a whole new me. So no more nights. Around the cauldron, casting spells upon the city? My time I'll now spend with my new little friend. That can make an old witch look so pretty. Do you think the witch tea grub could make mummy pretty? No. No! <laughs> yeah! Or well, maybe the witch tea grub will visit me and get rid of the water on my nose. Let's hope. Yeah. yeah? Would that be nice? Yeah. yeah. I hope you liked our witchy story. Are you going to be a witch for Halloween? <laughs> Happy Halloween, bookworms. <laughs> Can you show them how to be a witch? Not everyone knows. So what's this? Boom! It got in a in a sky. In a sky. In the sky. You fly in the sky? Yeah. That's what witches do. You fly up high in the sky. Hold on.
on here. You hold on tight? Yeah. And you fly? Yeah. 